Did you ever stop and wonder about the colorful birds chirping outside your window? Imagine a world filled with the most vibrant colors and melodic tunes. A world where every morning is greeted with a symphony of sweet chirps, and every evening is bid farewell with a gentle, calming coo. This world exists right here on our beautiful planet, and it's inhabited by the most fascinating creatures, birds. Birds, my friends, are astonishing. They come in all shapes and sizes, from the tiny hummingbird, no bigger than your thumb, to the majestic albatross, with wings so wide they could cover a small car. They're not just diverse in size, but also in the types of places they call home, the food they eat, and the way they live their lives. Some birds prefer the quiet solitude of a dense forest, while others love the hustle and bustle of a busy city. Some birds feast on juicy fruits and crunchy seeds, while others dive into the ocean to catch a tasty fish. But have you ever wondered how a tiny bird egg becomes a full-grown bird? Or how a bird knows where to build its nest? Or what a bird's favorite meal might be? Well, hold tight to your feathers, because we're about to embark on a feathery adventure that will answer all these questions and more. We'll take a journey through the life cycle of a bird, from a tiny egg in a cozy nest to a fully grown wing-flapping wonder. We'll explore the various habitats birds call home, from the highest mountain peaks to the deepest forest floors. We'll learn about the many fascinating meals that birds enjoy. And finally, we'll shine a spotlight on some specific birds, getting to know them a little better. This journey is going to be exciting, surprising, and full of feathery facts. So, are you ready to take flight and learn all about our winged friends? Are you ready to embark on this feathery adventure? Then buckle up and get ready to soar. Every bird begins life as an egg, cozy and warm in a nest. Can you imagine it? The world around you, a symphony of sounds and vibrations, all while you're snug inside a tiny eggshell. This is the very first stage of a bird's life cycle. Like a secret present, tucked away in a beautifully woven nest, the egg holds all the promise of life within its delicate shell. But what happens inside that egg is nothing short of a miracle. Over a period of days or weeks, depending on the species, a tiny bird is being formed. Each day, the shell protects the developing chick, while the yolk serves as its source of food. All this time, the mother bird sits on the eggs, keeping them warm and safe. This period of growth and development within the egg is called incubation. And then one day, there's a little tap from inside the egg. It's the chick ready to greet the world. Using a special tiny tooth on the tip of its beak called an egg tooth, the chick begins to chip away at the shell. This is a process known as hatching. It's a lot of hard work and it can take several hours or even a few days. But once the chick has broken free from its shell, it's ready to embark on the next stage of its life. This newly hatched creature is called a chick. At this stage, chicks are usually quite helpless. They rely on their parents for warmth, protection, and food. Some chicks, like robins, are born without feathers and with their eyes closed. These are called altricial chicks. Other chicks, like ducks and geese, are born with a soft covering of feathers and their eyes wide open. These are known as precocial chicks. As days turn into weeks, the chicks grow rapidly. They sprout feathers, their wings develop, and they start to look more like their parents. This is the fledgling stage. Fledglings are like teenagers. They start to explore their surroundings, and they begin to learn how to fly. It's a time of great adventure, but also of danger, as fledglings are still learning how to navigate the world. And then, before you know it, these fledglings have grown into adult birds. They've learned how to fly, how to find food, and how to avoid predators. They're ready to face the world on their own. And eventually, when the time is right, these adult birds will find mates and build nests of their own. They'll lay their own eggs and the cycle of life will begin anew. Isn't it amazing to think about? Every bird you see from the smallest sparrow to the largest eagle has gone through this incredible journey of growth and transformation it's a testament to the resilience and adaptability of these wonderful creatures. So the next time you see a bird soaring high in the sky or hear a bird's song echoing through the trees, take a moment to appreciate the incredible journey that bird has taken.
from a tiny, fragile egg to a powerful, graceful adult, every bird has a story to tell. And that, my friends, is how a tiny egg transforms into a beautiful bird. Birds live everywhere, from the cold Arctic to the hot desert. Each one has a place it calls home. Imagine a world where every day is a new adventure, where the sky is not just the limit, but a part of your home. This is the world of our feathered friends, the birds. These amazing creatures have made their homes in almost every corner of our planet, and each habitat is as unique as the bird that calls it home. Let's start with the forests, the green and leafy wonderlands that are home to a multitude of bird species. The forest is like a bustling city for birds, with all the trees acting as skyscrapers. Some birds, like the woodpecker, even carve out their own special nooks and tree trunks. Others, like the owl, prefer the quiet privacy of a tree hole. And then there are those, like the hummingbird, that build tiny delicate nests in the branches. The forest provides these birds with plenty of food and shelter, making it a perfect bird metropolis. But not all birds are forest dwellers. Some prefer the open spaces and harsh conditions of the desert. It might seem like an unlikely place for a bird to call home, but species like the roadrunner and the cactus wren have adapted beautifully to this environment. They've learned to find water and food in the most unlikely places, and their nests, often built in cacti or desert shrubs, are safe from most predators. Then there are the birds that have made their homes in the wetlands. These areas filled with marshes, rivers, and lakes are a bird's paradise. Here, birds like the heron, duck, and flamingo thrive. They build their nests near or even on the water, and their diet is rich in fish, insects, and plants found in these wet habitats. And let's not forget about the birds that have become our neighbors in the cities. Pigeons and sparrows and crows are just a few of the birds that have adapted to city life. They build their nests in buildings, bridges, and parks, and have learned to forage for food in this concrete jungle. But what about the birds that live in the coldest places on Earth, like the Arctic? Even in these icy landscapes, birds like the snowy owl and the puffin have found a way to survive. They've adapted to the cold, and their homes, whether in rocky cliffs or on the icy ground, are built to withstand the freezing temperatures. And then there are the birds that don't stay in one place for long. These are the migratory birds, like the Arctic tern, that travel thousands of miles every year in search of food and a suitable place to raise their young. Their homes are not fixed. Instead, they are wherever these brave travelers find themselves at different times of the year. Isn't it amazing how birds with their tiny bodies and delicate feathers have adapted to such diverse environments? Each bird, in its own way, has found a way to thrive in its chosen home, whether it's a hot desert, a bustling city, a quiet forest, a wet marshland, or even the freezing Arctic. And what does this teach us? Maybe that home is not just a place, but a feeling of safety, comfort, and belonging. And that with a little bit of adaptability and courage, we can make a home anywhere we choose. Birds sure know how to pick the best spots for their homes, don't they? When it's time to eat, birds have a menu that's as diverse as they are. Just like us, birds need food for fuel to keep their bodies warm and to stay healthy. But what exactly is on a bird's plate? Let's dive into the world of bird cuisine. Some birds are vegetarians. They love to munch on seeds, fruits, and plants. Take the goldfinch, for example. It's a seed specialist. These little yellow and black beauties have a particular fondness for sunflower seeds and dandelion seeds. If you've ever seen a goldfinch bobbing about in a field of dandelions, now you know why. They were just enjoying a tasty meal. But not all birds are vegetarians. Many birds are insectivores, which is just a fancy way of saying they eat bugs. Yuck, right? But for these birds, insects are a delicious treat. The common nighthawk, despite its name, is not a night bird, but a dusk or dawn bird. It's a master at catching insects on the wing, gobbling up beetles, grasshoppers, and moths mid-flight. Then we have the carnivores, birds that eat meat. Raptors like hawks, eagles, and owls fall into this category. These birds have sharp beaks and talons, which they use to catch and tear apart their prey. The bald eagle, the national bird of the United States, is a great fisher. It swoops down from the sky, snatches a fish from the water with its talons, and then flies back up to enjoy its seafood dinner. Some birds have a sweet tooth, just like us. 
Hummingbirds are nectarivores, meaning they feed on the sweet nectar of flowers. These tiny birds have long, thin beaks and even longer tongues, which they use to reach the nectar hidden deep inside flowers. But don't be fooled by their size. Hummingbirds have to eat a lot to keep their wings flapping. In fact, they eat nearly half their body weight in nectar each day. And let's not forget the omnivores, birds that eat a bit of everything. Crows and ravens are great examples of omnivores. They'll eat insects, seeds, fruits, small animals, and even scraps of food left behind by humans. These intelligent birds are always on the lookout for their next meal. Of course, what a bird eats often depends on where it lives. Birds that live near the ocean like seagulls and pelicans often eat fish. Birds that live in forests like woodpeckers and chickadees eat lots of insects and seeds. And desert birds like roadrunners and quails eat a mix of seeds, insects, and small animals. Birds also change their diet based on the time of year. In the spring and summer, when insects are abundant, many birds eat lots of bugs. But in the fall and winter, when insects are harder to find, these same birds might switch to eating more seeds and fruits. So, as you can see, birds have a wide range of diets. Some are picky eaters, sticking to just one type of food, Others are more adventurous, willing to try a little bit of everything. But whether they're sipping nectar from a flower, catching insects midair, or diving for fish in the ocean, one thing's for sure. Birds are not picky eaters. They find yumminess in all corners of nature. Now that we know about bird life in general, let's meet some specific feathered friends. We're going to embark on a journey across the globe visiting different habitats and meeting four amazing birds. A penguin, a hummingbird, an owl, and a parrot. First stop, the snowy plains of Antarctica, home to the charming penguins. Penguins are flightless birds, but what they lack in flight, they make up for with their exceptional swimming skills. From the moment they hatch from their eggs, penguins are well adapted to the icy conditions. After spending a few weeks in their nests, the young ones start to explore their frosty world, always under the watchful eyes of their parents. Penguins dine predominantly on seafood. Their menu includes squids, krills, and fish. Yummy if you're a penguin. Next, we flutter over to the tropical jungles of Central and South America, where we find the enchanting hummingbirds. These tiny birds are known for their speedy wing flapping and their love for nectar. A hummingbird starts its life in a tiny nest, usually no larger than a walnut. Once hatched, the chick will stay in the nest for three to four weeks before it's ready to test out its wings. A hummingbird's diet is a sweet one. They sip on the nectar from flowers using their long, slender beaks. While nectar makes up most of their diet, they also snack on insects and spiders for protein. From the tropics, we swoop over to forests around the globe where owls make their homes. Owls are nocturnal creatures, meaning they are most active during the night. An owl's life begins in a cozy nest, usually in the hollow of a tree. After hatching, the owlets spend about six weeks in the nest before they're ready to venture out on their own. Owls have a diverse menu. Depending on their species and where they live, they feast on everything from insects to small mammals like mice and rabbits. They swallow their food whole and later regurgitate the indigestible parts. A bit gross, but that's owl life for you. Finally, we fly over to the rainforests where the colorful parrots reside. Known for their vibrant plumage and their ability to mimic human speech, parrots are truly fascinating birds. A parrot's life begins in a nest high up in the trees. The chicks stay in the nest for about one to three months, depending on the species. Parrots enjoy a varied diet. They love fruits, nuts, seeds, and some even enjoy small insects. So there you have it, friends. Four fantastic birds, each with their unique life cycle, habitat, and diet. From the icy plains of Antarctica, to the lush rainforests, from the smallest hummingbird to the largest owl, birds are incredibly diverse creatures. They navigate their world with grace, whether it's soaring through the sky, swimming through icy waters, or climbing tree trunks. Each bird is unique, just like each one of us. We've met some amazing birds so far, but our journey doesn't stop here. 
Let's continue our adventure and meet more of our feathered friends. We're taking off again, this time to the sunny savannas of Africa where we'll meet the elegant flamingos. Flamingos are famous for their vibrant pink feathers and their one-legged stance. But did you know that a flamingo's color comes from its diet? Yes, you heard that right. Flamingos feed on blue-green algae and brine shrimp, which contain pigments called carotenoids. These pigments give flamingos their characteristic pink color. From the moment they hatch, flamingo chicks are fed this diet by their parents, who regurgitate the food for their young. Over time, the chicks grow and their feathers start to take on the beautiful pink hue we all know and love. From Africa, we're flying over to the lush rainforests of Central and South America, home to the striking toucans. With their large, colorful beaks, toucans are easily recognizable. They use their beaks to reach for their favorite food, fruit. A toucan's diet is primarily frugivorous, meaning they eat a lot of fruit. However, they also supplement their diet with insects, eggs, and small animals. Baby toucans are fed by both parents until they're ready to leave the nest and find fruit on their own. Now, let's soar with the eagles. Eagles are found all over the world, from North America to Europe, Asia, and Africa. They are birds of prey, known for their strength and hunting skills. An eagle's life starts in a nest, often built high up on a cliff or in a tall tree. Once hatched, the eaglets are fed by their parents who bring them food, usually small mammals like rabbits or fish. As they grow older, they learn to hunt and eventually leave the nest to find territories of their own. So there you have it, friends. Three more fantastic birds, each with their unique life cycle, habitat, and diet. From the sunny savannas of Africa to the lush rainforests of Central and South America, from the smallest toucan to the largest eagle, birds are incredibly diverse creatures. The world of birds is truly diverse and fascinating, isn't it? Perhaps you thought our bird-watching journey was coming to an end, but no, we're not done yet. There are many more feathered friends to meet. Let's take off once again, this time to the tropical rainforests of South America. Here, you'll meet the incredibly intelligent parrots. Parrots are known for their ability to mimic human speech, but did you know this skill is a result of their social nature? They communicate with their flock through vocalizations, and when in human company, they simply extend their social behavior to include us. Fascinating, isn't it? From the tropical rainforests, we'll now travel to the forests of South Asia, home to the flamboyant peacocks. Peacocks are known for their stunning tail feathers, which they fan out in a breathtaking display during courtship rituals. The male peacock's vibrant plumage is one of nature's most spectacular shows, a true testament to the wonders of evolution. Finally, let's journey to the temperate regions of the Northern Hemisphere, where we'll glide alongside the graceful swans. Swans are renowned for their elegance and their lifelong monogamous relationships. They are often seen in pairs, gliding serenely across lakes and ponds. Their beautiful curved necks and pristine white feathers make them a symbol of purity and grace in many cultures. So, there you have it, friends. Three more amazing birds, each with their unique characteristics and fascinating behaviors. From the intelligent parrots of South America, to the flamboyant peacocks of Asia and the graceful swans of the Northern Hemisphere, each bird species has its own unique charm and characteristics. Isn't the world of birds truly astonishing? As we near the end of our journey, let's meet the final flock. We're taking a trip to the bustling city streets where amidst the concrete and skyscrapers, you can find the adaptable pigeons. These birds have become a permanent fixture in urban landscapes thriving in the hustle and bustle of city life. Their natural diet consists of seeds and grains, but they've adapted to forage for whatever food they can find, making them one of the most successful urban wildlife species. Their ability to adapt to various environments and food sources is a testament to their resilience. Next, we take a global trip to meet the sparrows. These small, chirpy birds can be found all over the world, and are known for their social nature. They often gather in large flocks, chirping and fluttering about in a delightful display of community. Their songs fill the air, providing a soundtrack to our daily lives. And finally, 
Let's travel to the vast plains of Africa, home to the mighty ostriches. These birds are flightless, but they make up for it with their incredible speed. An ostrich can run up to 60 miles per hour, making it the fastest bird on land. Their long, powerful legs not only help them outrun predators, but also serve as formidable weapons when they need to defend themselves. So from the smallest sparrow to the largest ostrich, each bird has a tale to tell. As we've seen, the world of birds is one of immense diversity and adaptability, a world that continues to surprise and inspire us with its beauty and complexity. What an amazing journey we've had, learning about our feathery friends. We've embarked on a whirlwind tour through the captivating world of birds, haven't we? Let's take a moment to look back on the incredible things we've discovered together. We began our adventure understanding the life cycle of a bird. We saw how a tiny egg, nestled safely in a nest, transforms into a chirping little chick. We marveled as the chick grew into a fledgling, taking its first tentative flights. And then, before our eyes, the fledgling matured into a magnificent adult bird, ready to start the cycle anew. It's a journey filled with growth, change, and the promise of new beginnings. Then, we explored the diverse habitats of birds, remember? From the deepest forest to the highest mountains, from the coldest polar regions to the hottest deserts, birds make their homes in some of the most awe-inspiring places on Earth. We learned that no matter where you go, there's probably a bird that calls that place home. Next, we delved into the fascinating diets of birds. We found out that some birds are carnivores, dining on insects, fish, or even other birds. Others are herbivores, munching happily on seeds, fruits, and plants. And then there are those omnivores who aren't picky eaters at all. They feast on a bit of everything. Just like us, every bird has its own unique taste. And oh, the wonderful array of specific birds we met. From the majestic eagle soaring high in the sky to the cheerful sparrow hopping about in our backyards the flamboyant peacock with its dazzling tail, the wise old owl with its hoots in the night, and the swift hummingbird, a blur of color and speed. Each one unique, each one special, each one an important part of the beautiful tapestry of life. Birds are truly diverse and wonderful, aren't they? Each bird with its own life cycle, its own home, and its own diet tells a unique story, a story of survival, of adaptation, and of the sheer beauty of life. So next time you see a bird, whether it's a common pigeon strutting on the sidewalk or a rare parrot squawking in a rainforest, take a moment to appreciate it. Understand that it's not just a bird. It's a living, breathing creature with a life as complex and as fascinating as ours. Remember, every bird from the tiniest hummingbird to the largest eagle is a testament to the incredible diversity and beauty of nature. Each bird has its own tale to tell, its own song to sing, and its own place in the world. Our journey through the world of birds may be drawing to a close, but the wonders of nature are never ending. So keep exploring, keep learning, and keep marveling at the world around you. Next time you see a bird, remember, it has a story just as fascinating as ours. Our bird watching journey doesn't stop here, my friends. We still have more fascinating species to discover and more intricate stories to unravel. Let's spread our wings and dive into the colorful and musical world of songbirds. With their melodious tunes filling our ears, these small yet vibrant creatures truly are nature's musicians. From the sweet voice of the nightingale to the complex song of the lark, each songbird has its unique symphony, a harmony that reverberates through forests, meadows, and our backyards. As we leave the daylight behind, we delve into the mysterious nocturnal life of nightjars and owlets. These elusive birds come alive under the cover of darkness, their hoots and calls echoing through the still night air. Their secretive nature and fascinating behaviors make them a compelling subject for any bird enthusiast. From the darkness, we soar into the light, following the migratory patterns of arctic terns and swallows. These tireless travelers embark on epic journeys, crossing continents and oceans, driven by an incredible instinct to find the best breeding grounds or feeding areas. 
Their journeys are a testament to their endurance and adaptability. As we navigate these migratory routes, we'll pause to admire the unique nesting habits of weaver birds and hornbills. The intricate nests of weaver birds are a marvel of avian architecture. While the hornbills' practice of sealing their nest is a unique strategy for protecting their young. Finally, we will plunge into the waters with kingfishers and cormorants, exploring their underwater hunting skills. These birds are proof that the world of birds is not just about the sky. Some of them are as adept in water as they are in air, diving with precision to catch their prey. And with that, we wrap up another chapter of our avian adventure. The world of birds never ceases to amaze, does it? Each species is a new story, a new perspective on life. So keep watching, keep listening, and keep exploring. Because the world of birds is a never-ending symphony of nature's brilliance. From the melodious songbirds, the secretive nocturnal birds, the tireless migratory birds, to the underwater hunters, we have traversed through a myriad of avian wonders. Now it's time to soar high with the majestic eagles, the kings of the sky. These powerfully built birds of prey are known for their incredible strength, keen eyesight, and striking beauty. Found in diverse habitats around the globe, from the frigid tundra to the sweltering desert, eagles have adapted to thrive in the harshest of conditions. Their diet primarily consists of small mammals, fish, and other birds, which they hunt with their powerful talons and sharp beaks. Watching an eagle swoop down to snatch its prey is a sight to behold, a testament to their unparalleled hunting skills. Let's delve into the life cycle of an eagle from a tiny egg in a high altitude nest to a fully grown adult ready to rule the skies. The journey is not without its challenges, but the eagle's inherent resilience and adaptability ensure their survival. Eagles truly are the embodiment of strength and freedom. Their broad wings carrying them across vast landscapes, their sharp eyes scanning the terrain below. As we continue our journey through the world of birds, let's take a moment to marvel at the majesty of the eagle, a symbol of power, courage, and resilience. As our exploration of the bird kingdom continues, we are reminded of the diversity and complexity of life on our planet. So keep your eyes on the sky and your heart open to the wonders of nature as we plunge into our next avian adventure. From the lofty heights of the eagle's flight, let's now waddle our way to the delightful world of ducks. These charming waterfowl inhabit our planet's many water bodies, from the smallest pond to the vast ocean. Ducks are an integral part of our natural world. They're quacking a familiar sound in many landscapes. These birds are omnivorous, feasting on a diverse diet ranging from aquatic plants to small invertebrates. They have a unique feeding habit known as dabbling, where they upend themselves in water to reach for food beneath the surface. It's a comical yet fascinating sight, a testament to the duck's adaptability and survival skills. Let's dive into the life cycle of a duck, from a cozy egg in a well-hidden nest to an adult ready to take on the world. The journey is filled with trials and tribulations, a constant test of their survival instincts. From avoiding predators to navigating their way in water bodies, the life of a duck is as challenging as it is exciting. Ducks, with their colorful plumage and endearing waddle, are a joy to watch. Their social behavior, especially their strong bond with their mates, is heartwarming. As we continue our exploration of the avian world, let's take a moment to appreciate the charm and resilience of these delightful ducks. Their presence brings life and color to our water bodies. They're quacking a familiar and comforting sound in the silence. As we move forward on our journey, remember to keep your eyes open and your heart receptive to the wonders of the avian world. Fasten your seat belts as we dive into the world of the fastest birds on earth, the falcons. These majestic raptors are known for their incredible speed and precision. Found across the globe, from the arid desert landscapes to the dense cityscapes, falcons are adaptable and resilient. Their diet primarily consists of other birds and their hunting prowess is awe-inspiring, reaching speeds of over 240 miles per hour in their hunting stoop. Now, 
Let's explore the life cycle of a falcon from a fragile egg in a cliffside nest to a swift adult. Their journey is filled with challenges, from learning to fly to mastering the art of hunting. These birds are solitary hunters and their aerial acrobatics during the chase are a spectacle to behold. Falcons, with their pointed wings and long tails, are built for speed and agility. Their keen eyesight, almost eight times better than that of a human, allows them to spot their prey from great heights. As we continue our journey through the avian world, let's take a moment to marvel at the speed and precision of these fast falcons. Their presence adds a dash of adrenaline to our bird-watching adventures. As we soar to new heights in our exploration, remember to keep your senses alert to the thrill and beauty of the bird world. Falcons truly are the speedsters of the bird world. Their lightning-fast dives a testament to their incredible hunting skills.